comprehensive oral health care in a relaxed, spa-like setting, head straight to Dioga Dental. Dr. Brush, I know you and Dr. Potter both practice comprehensive dental care. What is that? We look at everything. We can either focus down and just look at that one tooth that they want us to look at or just look for cavities, but you know, we've learned over the years that um, the more we know about our patients, their habits, the way their teeth fit together, are their bites balanced, there's all sorts of things that could affect our patients down the road. So we, we usually take uh, full ortho pictures, we usually do study models, we spend a significant amount of time, especially with complex cases, going over all the ins and outs of what's going on in their mouth so that they can make the best decisions for themselves. Dr. Potter, in your opinion, is there an area in dental care that's really taken off in recent years? Um, yeah, there's lots of areas in dentistry that have been doing some exciting things. Obviously to patients, aesthetics is very important now. Whitening, veneers, straightening teeth. Um, that's very exciting for patients and it gets better and better all the time. For dentists, we have a lot of really great dental materials we use right now um, that are closer to what the enamel looks like. They look better um, and they wear better on the teeth. And then also even with dental implants, we have so many more selections of types of dental implants than we ever had. Um, and the way that we restore them, we can make them look more like teeth, not have that metal looking under the gum line. We can have more of a tooth looking appearance. So it's really exciting in dentistry right now with everything. A periodontist is a dental specialist that focuses primarily on the gums and the bone that support the teeth in the mouth. As a specialty, periodontist treats periodontal disease, which is a condition where inflammation leads to bone loss around the roots of the teeth. I spent three extra years after my dental school training to learn to place implants. A dental implant is a titanium alloy screw that's used to replace a single tooth that's been lost. Technology has provided a vast amount of information. Instruments such as the iCAT allow to treatment plan cases in great detail before I ever even sit down to do the procedure on the patient. For the patient, it's really pretty similar to any other dental procedure. You have to get numb like any other dental procedure as if you're gonna get a filling or a crown, but once you're numb, I'm able to place the implant with no pain at all in a pretty short period of time, somewhat under an hour. We can perform all of the treatments in-house and you don't have to go from office to office to have the treatment done. In addition to that, having multiple doctors and multiple lab technicians in-house, we're able to treatment plan cases together, work together, and perform all of this before we even touch the patient to ensure we have an optimal outcome. Working with Dr. Potter and Dr. Brush, we go through a process of evaluating what the patient wants. It's my job to sit down with them and the surgeon and figure out the best aesthetic result. We go to ordering parts and scanning models and with the industry being so advanced now a lot of this stuff's done digitally and I can go on a computer and custom design implant abutments and use many different materials and once we get the abutments in for the implants then we make the crowns to go on top of those and cement them in. Uh, sometimes we're, we're limited on space, so we may have to do a screw retained restoration. So there's a lot of different materials and a lot of different implants out there. But my job is to work with them to accomplish the best results possible with what we've got. Other than having a hole in your smile, are there any concerns health-wise with missing teeth? When you don't have a tooth uh, replacement or a tooth in place, the other teeth can, can drift, uh, the bite can collapse. Um, if you're missing uh, more than one tooth, say you're missing all your molars, then you, know, you just can't chew as well, you're not chewing your food up, you might actually be at risk for choking. We really want to try to keep up like with everything, keep up with that maintenance. If you lose a tooth, put one back in some way and, and you're going to be better off. For cutting edge dental care, visit Tioga Dental in Tioga Town Center or on the web at tiogadental.com.